Ik doe, doe, doe. Guten Tag. Good day to you. Well done. Good morning. You are alive. Congratulations. George, say hello. This is George. He is a beautiful cat. Hello, everybody. Hello. I am so pretty. Can you hear him? He's purring. He's happy. I don't think he's particularly keen on this. I'll put you down, buddy. There you go. Apologies if you see any cat butts. Uh, as he walks past later, he's going to go sit on the windowsill um, and stare longingly out at the birds. Okay, so <laughs> that's what that's what cats do. So good morning. It is nearly eight o'clock, and I've been getting consistent at this, which is nice. That's nice. I'm I'm not very <laughs> I'm the kind of person who starts something and stops something. So. I mean, we'll see how this goes kind of longer term, but uh, yeah, happy days. All right, I'm just gonna check a few things online before uh, before going into a treatment of sorts, one that you are not really used to. Okay, here's the thing, power of the mind. Power of the mind is an incredible thing. Okay, if you've, maybe you've, you know, Goddard, one of your friends is live. Who is it? Oh no. Oh, I won't do that. Um, the power of the mind is incredible. Um, you can change things uh, with with your thoughts. So the trouble is we have the same thoughts over and over and over again. And to change your thoughts, you need to become conscious of your thoughts. Um, so I suggest pen and paper and go, okay, well, what are all the things that I think about? And you just write them all down. Hey, and you know, what are all the things that I say to other people? Hey, because what are all the situations in my life that other people say to me? Hey, because the clues are there. Okay, the clues are there. You just don't want to hear them. Hey, they are hard to listen to. They make you feel bad. They, um, they're just inconvenient truths, <laughs> inconvenient truths that, um, we're trying to avoid in our life. So if somebody calls you um, an angry, I don't know, whatever, I don't, somebody calls you a name, okay? Yeah, I am. I must be. Otherwise, they wouldn't have said that. Hey, it's very tempting to say, hang on a minute. No, no, no. You're the, um, if someone tells you a name, you're the, you're the bad person. You're the whatever it is, okay? You're the a-hole. Hey, I don't know what we're like with language uh, restrictions on here. Um, it's very, very tempting to to like deflect it back onto them. Hey, but if someone says that you are something, just agree. Okay, it is uh, far less stressful and probably true. Probably true. Um, so just go with it. Uh, oh dear, just reading a thing and uh, uh, about a friend of mine, well I say a friend of mine, a client-ish of mine whose mum has clearly got a fairly major liver problem. So I'm going to do some work on that. I'm going to do some work on that because I like to help people. There's another friend of mine on, on Facebook I used to work with and her daughter had, um, oh, she had a lung transplant a few years ago, maybe four or five years ago. And now due to the immunosuppressants that she's on, she's got liver cancer, which is uh, amazing. She's only, I don't know, 22, 23, 24. She's, I can't remember her age now, but she's young she's young she's in her early 20s let's say um which is sad news but because because i am very good at detachment that's one of my adhd powers i can detach from this stuff it could, i feel it a little bit but I, I detach from things because i've i've got a certain kind of psychology going on um So yeah, we're gonna do some work on that. 
if you have any aches, pains, concerns, physical worries, um, that is, I mean, that's kind of what I will be aiming at. Um, so, sit down, buckle in, find stillness, find some peace. We're going to go on a journey. Um, that will take us wherever it takes us. So, enjoy. Okay. So, we're looking for resolutions in things in our life that are causing us pain and suffering. Okay. The solutions. You don't need to have it. You don't need to go, okay, if I first do this, then I do this, then I do this, and then I'll have the solution, okay? We don't need to worry about that. We are so unaware of the totality of the universe. We're so unaware of the power of God. Okay? The infinite intricacies, the tangled web of circumstances, even our kind of highest level intelligence is, is nowhere near what could possibly happen. So just let go of needing to know an answer. Become happy and content with the state of, I don't know. I don't know how it happened. I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know quite how I got to where I am today. And be comfortable with, I don't know, because honestly, you don't know. You are only aware of a tiny fraction, like a, literally a min minuscule fraction of what is going on. And if you just think about your own body for a moment, what are you genuinely aware of? You might be aware of your heartbeat. You might be aware of the feeling of your clothes on your body. You might be aware of a few aches and pains or maybe even a few things about your body that feel good. You might start to become aware of a few of your thoughts. That's about the extent of it. You're aware of your breathing. That's, that's really about all you're aware of. Externally, you might be aware of a few noises that are going on. You might be kind of semi-aware of the kind of lighting conditions that you're in. And that's it. But what you're not aware of is the thoughts and feelings of the other 7.99999 billion people on Earth. Hey, you're not aware of any of those. You're not aware of the environmental conditions five miles away or even two miles away you're not aware of all of the invisible radio signals the wi-fi the literal radio the police radios the ambulance radios the you're not aware of what the birds are thinking and what the birds are doing there are so many things you are unaware of you are only you're not even aware of your own hormones you're not aware of how much oxygen is in your blood. You just assume that it's okay. You're not aware of your cells dying and being reborn every second. So just be comfortable with knowing that you don't know virtually anything at all. And that the circumstances of your life are actually perfect. Everything right now is ideal. And the only things that are not ideal are because we've probably thought too much about them and created them. We have had imperfect thoughts. And again, don't worry about that. Everyone has them. We've only had imperfect thoughts because we think logically that we know better We must eat a certain way because that's what science says so, or that's what my favourite 
Instagram, Facebook influencer has said so. I need this supplement because you know the advertising was really good. And again, the science says if I do this, then I'll lose weight. And if I eat this, it will calm my mind. And if I do this, then it will help me sleep better. And it's kind of not true. It kind of is in a way, but mostly because we've been trained to believe to believe certain things. It's like we've been trained to believe people in authority. And look where that's got us. Believing authority puts us in a state of war. <laughs> hey, the only true guide is your internal peace. You just got to ask yourself, does this bring me peace? Does this bring me calmness? Does this ease my own suffering? And anything else, do your best not to engage with. Do not engage with suffering. Do not engage with division. I'm not talking about maths here. Societal division. Control relies on us, humanity, being divided. Whether that's through religion, socio-economic status, skin colour, beliefs in medicine or non-medicine. The system thrives on fear. And by admitting that you don't know and stepping away from the system, choosing unity over separation, you can heal not only yourself but others. Accept that there is a universal connection between all living things, even down to the level of rocks, bacteria, and things we generally conceive of as inert and having no consciousness. You and I are connected just as much as we are connected to the earth, the literal soil. If God is everywhere, then it must be in all things, at all times, in all places, and even in the gaps between things. In the air, in the ground, in my cells, in the spaces between my cells, within the atoms and even the spaces between the electrons, protons and neutrons. The universe doesn't stop. The universe can be synonymous with the word God or with God. It is all things. And if it is all things, then you are all things. Because there is no separation between you and everything else. Here comes George. Don't know if you can see him on camera. There he goes. See if you can feel into 
your chair or your car or maybe even your computer and your phone. What can you feel into it? And just notice what goes on in your body. What happens in your body when you feel into an object? Maybe you get a message, an image, maybe you get physical sensations. Perhaps what you're feeling is your beliefs and thoughts about that object. Whether you feel like it's generally a, a good thing or generally a bad thing or generally a neutral thing. If we are all one thing, then there can be no good and bad. There is only beingness or isness. All of our judgments about these things are false. If we look inside our body, the aches and pains, the judgments we have about pain or injury. Know that they are false. And know that we can drop them and let them go at any moment. You can allow healing to occur when we recognize the falsehood in pain and suffering, because all that is, is separation, an egoic mind separating you from the energy that is God or the universe. Feel love flood through your body. Feel yourself becoming whole as you let out suffering and pain. Let it flow out of you like water through a funnel down a waterfall, down your bath tub, whatever, however you see it. <laughs> let it flow away. Connect with all other people who are watching this now, who are watching this in the future as a recording. Connect with them and send love to them as they are sending love to you. And time is another form of separation which does not exist in this realm. does not take time to heal. It can simply happen now. We'll work on the resistance to those statements now.
because time in the universe is infinite. No beginning, no end. And on a human scale, it's even if it does have a beginning and end scientifically, it's so insanely long as to be tending towards infinity. So time for us is somewhat of an illusion. It appears to our logical mind through looking at the sun and the stars and the moon and the rotation of the earth that we have days, minutes and hours. But on an astrological level or an astronomical level, universal level, it's irrelevant. Time is only relevant on Earth, on another planet, it would be different, and even to different animals on this planet, time moves in a different way. Dissolve your illusion of linear time. Time is irrelevant to the universe and God. Turn to your body, notice how it feels, notice tension, notice lightness, notice warmth or coolness, there are no right and wrong sensations, just merely sensations and allow them to be. And ask God or the universe to shine a light on them, to reveal the truth. To allow them to pass on if there is falseness there. And to fill any space with truth. In truth you will find love, in truth you will find peace. In truth, you'll find freedom and abundance. We are simply looking for truth. Allow truth to enter. For anything man made is true is untrue. For anything man made is untrue. Okay. Nothing untrue in real reality can exist. Now word salad, right? <laughs> strange and odd concepts. Ones that our logical mind find hard to comprehend, but truth is not for the logical mind. The logical mind cannot comprehend truth. So do not try. Even language is falsehood. 
true communication is vibrational. It's telepathic. It's intuition. It has no language. Personally, I've often thought, what if we went back to Latin or you know, the oldest written or spoken languages in on the planet? Are they closer to truth than the words and phrases that we use today? I don't know the answer to that. Maybe. But what came before language? What even came before grunts and clicks and noises that we made to communicate? Perhaps what came before that was a direct connection to universal intelligence. Telepathic subliminal transmission frequency that leads us to onto the path of truth that cannot sway us from the path of truth because there is nothing else. Let's sit with these thoughts for a few silent moments. Just allow them to be. Feel the presence of your higher self. Because there is only your higher self. What we call the egoic self or the small self is an illusion. Self-created. Man-made. If it's man-made, it's untrue. Your higher self is universal. Connected with everything and everyone. Every rock, blade of grass, tree, flower, animal, plant, you name it, connected. This is your true guide, your higher self. You may look for guidance from outside influences, other people, signs, cards even, astrology. You might be looking for signs there. You do not need signs from the outside world to hear and feel what your higher self is telling you. What we all must do is get out of the way. 
Allow God, the universe, your higher self to guide your physical body, to guide your thoughts and your mind onto your true path. Nobody can tell you what your purpose is except for you. Nobody can make you do it except for you. And the biggest hurdle to getting any of it done is you. Constantly putting hurdles in your own way. If we just step to the side, allow the hurdles to be blown over, knocked down, they do not exist. Feel the relief as all the pressure of having to do things washes away. Breathe naturally and deeply. And just allow your body to be. When you're ready, open your eyes. Give yourself a bit of a move. Move your shoulders, move your arms, move your legs. Just have a little bit of a jiggle wherever you are. And you're gonna step into your new reality. In the comments, let me know what you felt. Let me know if you saw things. Let me know if you feel like your body is different now, if you feel healed or just simply different in some way. Maybe write down if you're gonna change a habit, change a behavior, okay? Maybe that behavior in you, you think about it and go, hmm, that doesn't even exist anymore. I don't need to do that, I have no desire to whatever it is. Cool. So have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful year. Time doesn't even exist. Have a just to have, have a wonderful now and continue having wonderful nows uh, forever. <laughs> Cheerio.